I have a good one here from Coach Jason. He says, on our 13U practice, what can I do to help the kids not lack effort or make mistakes? Or do I discipline the kids? Or what can I do to help out more? I think that, you know, if you have the kids in a circle, right? It's almost like if you have the kids in a circle, you have the one kid that's like picking grass or, or playing with Johnny or doing this or that. And you're constantly talking to the kid that's doing it wrong and giving him the attention opposed to, Johnny having a perfect baseball knee and his eyes are, are on you and he's, he's paying attention and you praise that kid, watch how fast all the other kids will get on the baseball knee and put their eyes on you, opposed to you talking to the kid that's doing something wrong. So try your best to find things that the, the players that are doing it right and praise the ones doing it right. You'll see way more kids jumping on that bandwagon than constantly telling and true and picking out all the mistakes and all the things that are being done wrong. And because that's, what's going to lower the confidence and the effort level is going to go down because it's almost like, well, I'd rather not try than to try and fail. I'd rather just not try at all because then I can't fail. Even though we as coaches realize that's failing every time. If a kid goes up and watches all three strikes and he strikes out well in his mind, sometimes, well, at least I didn't swing and miss. Well, you still struck out and you're out. So they sometimes process it way differently than how we see it. So I think that, you know, praising the kids that are, that are diving and that are laying out for balls. Hey, Johnny, great effort. I love the dirty uniform. Well, watch how many kids start diving and wanting to get that same, hey, Mikey, good job. Good, to, you know, and, and work on those drills, work on diving plays, work on great catches. And the more you work on those, the kids, that's what builds confidence. So, I think that it comes down to more of praising the good instead of constantly knocking down the bad. Yeah. I think that's awesome. That's, that's spot on right there. I think, uh, you know, when you say lack effort or make mistakes, um, you know, I don't know if it, if you're talking about mental mistakes, if you're talking about physical mistakes for us, you know, certain things that we struggle with during games, I will point those out before our practice and, and I'll make sure that I take notes during the game so that we focus on them in practice. So I'll put them in positions to fail. And like I mentioned earlier with either the stopwatch or, you know, I'll actually do live simulated games and put pressure on them as if it's if it's game time, because I think it's our job as coaches to push our guys and challenge them and push them to failure in practice. And then when the game time comes, we kind of just let them go do their thing and play. But I think playing or practicing game speed and practice practicing as if, you know, we got something on the line as opposed to just taking batting practice, getting a couple of ground balls and getting out of there is, is important.